The Marion County Health Department is partnering with the public library for two vaccination sites. They're going to be at Martindale Brightwood Branch on Sherman Drive and the College Avenue Branch. Both sites will have Pfizer, Moderna and Johnson & Johnson vaccines and you don't need an appointment. They're closed today and tomorrow, but we'll be back open on Tuesday. We've got the operating times listed and the addresses online at WTHR.com. All over the U.S., employees are being told to either get the shot or face frequent testing. And this is impacting a lot of people. You may remember back in September, President Biden announced a pending OSHA rule. Businesses with 100 or more employees will have to require either a vaccine or a COVID test at least once a week. And many small businesses are deciding to do this as well, which begs the question, who pays? Let's verify, does your employer need to pay for those COVID tests? Our researchers took that question to two employment lawyers and one expert in global health law. I think that the employer could require uh, the employees to pay for it. Um, it certainly will not go onto the federal government um, uh, as being a cost to them, but it'll ultimately come down to the employer and what the employer chooses to do. In other words, the ball's in their court and they could make you pay. Now, is there a more complicated discussion if the testing is because the employee can't get vaccinated due to a disability or due to religious reasons? Maybe, because then maybe we're venturing into the world of reasonable accommodation. But in the end, all our experts say that even those with reasonable accommodations might have to foot the bill. But remember, we haven't seen the final OSHA rules just yet, so things could change. When the OSHA standard comes out, um, it may be silent on the question of who pays, or it just may, may be an employer must pay. So we can verify that no, your employer does not have to cover the cost, but big businesses will want to watch out for that OSHA rule, which could make them have to pay up. With your Verify, I'm Evan Kozlov. Evan, and be sure to let us know if you've got something you'd like us to verify. Just email verify at WTHR.com. You can also reach out to us on Facebook and Twitter. Robert Durst has tested positive for COVID and is on a ventilator. That's according to his lawyer. Durst, who is 78 years old, was sentenced to life in prison with no parole for the murder of a close friend that took place back in 2000. Durst's lawyer says he believes Durst was vaccinated, but he didn't know whether his client got a booster. Uh, there has been no word from his doctors either about Durst's current condition.